I guess I wanted to ask you all, from you all's perspective, an atheist perspective, you all are atheists, correct? Yes, I am. We are. Um, you, uh, nope. you know how limited the atheist perspective is, though, right? Like, the, there are atheists on the other side of this glass in the live studio audience that are, may very well disagree with our answer to your question. But yeah, If it has what, to do with whether or not a god exists, we're good. Right, meaning he, she, or the dog, or the cat does it, right? <laughs> right? Hmm? So, uh, I, 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 I didn't catch that. That means that means that he or she, whatever person considers a god, does not exist. Uh, well, that they've got to they, show us that god before we're yeah. Gonna just they, be if like, you, oh, if yeah, you ask a person, do you believe that a god exists? The unseen god. The unseen god. Is that better? I mean, if you that's what you believe. The unseen god. We don't no, believe in any god. Yeah, there's there's nothing right. that I'm aware of that I would... You was asking what God or something you was you he had said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, we ask well, I mean, you what uh, you think God is, and then yeah. we talk about it because we obviously don't have a message to put yeah. forward. We're responding like to, and having those conversations. To be clear, I'm not sure whether you're also watching the YouTube. Okay, I but consider I, God. I consider God. Uh, okay, I had a question for you all, but yeah. since you asked that question, I consider God the creator of all things. Okay. okay. Do, do, you, do you think that that God necessarily exists in the world that you and I are in right now, that we're all in right yeah. now? Yes. Okay, yes. do you have evidence have for that? I have, I have strong faith in I have strong faith in it. Okay. okay. Uh, do you believe be, because of evidence as well, or is your belief based on, on faith alone? It's faith. Okay. okay, so just uh, clarifying, so I didn't, that I, wasn't an accusation. Oh no, I'm accusing you. Um, well, <laughs> I think that faith is a really terrible way to get to any yeah. knowledge. Can you give me an example of any other time that you use faith alone to determine what you're going to do in life, or what you believe, or what you know? Anything else? Well, like, faith, first of all, is having evidence of the unseen. Okay, so what, what is, is that the evidence? Okay, all right. Can I can I can I get back with you on that because I called with a question to you all as atheists, but sure. somehow it turned to me being questioned. Well, because that's right. a, that's sorry, a super we, cool. We, we, we yeah. want to get around to it. Yeah, because I yeah. got you on that. I can educate you on that with no problem. Yeah, sorry, Hakeem. We just wanted to be clear what you meant when you yeah. said. There's we'll, a guy. we'll circle back later. What do you yeah, know? what's your question? Well, my question was, how do Atheists think the universe came into existence. I don't know. All the way to depends on the all atheist. The same. Yeah, I don't know. You can educate me on that. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm I'm going to school uh, for philosophy. Um, I, Jamie went to school for business. Mm -hmm. um, dude, I don't know. Okay, give I, me I, your I, If I were you, if I were you, I'd ask a cosmologist. Approach, and you give me your yeah. business approach. <laughs> well, okay. So um, there's yeah. the. I think I'm. I haven't seen all of. Uh, Cosmos, either the old one with uh, right. Carl Sagan or the new one with Neil deGrasse Tyson, but I think that they address, amongst other things, you know, uh, cosmology or, or precisely that question. And so there, there are people who spend effectively their entire lives doing research to learn about facts about the way that the world works. Um, about a variety of subjects. Some of them make medicine and then we live longer. And some of them try and figure out how stars form, uh, what the hell black holes are more specifically, where dark matter is, etc. And so the people that do that research um, and the people that communicate it professionally, like Neil deGrasse Tyson, for example, would be better equipped to give you that answer. But to be quite honest, I don't know. Yeah. I, we're, we're both there, I, I, and we both advocate that if you don't know, say I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we have a lot of we encounter a lot of people. <laughs> we encounter a lot of people who Number will one say I don't know. Therefore, I'm going to pull the answer right out of my ass, and we don't want that. We don't like that, and we don't think that's a very good way of coming yeah. about it. So, um, I actually had a debate with a gentleman. Um, about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and it was you can't explain the beginning of the universe. You can't explain the beginning of the universe. Therefore, God. And I thought, what a dishonest way of proving a thing, because you uh -huh. never actually said anything. All you yeah. said is you don't know. Therefore, I'm correct. And so I asked, you know, well, what about, 
you know, anything else? What if the universe started at the end of another universe? What if we're part of a multiverse? What if, you know, some magical extra dimensional being, what if next week I build a time machine, go back to the beginning and I started the universe and I just don't know it yet? Like, <laughs> the question, the, the better question, actually no. That is a good question. It's a very good the question. The better answer is I don't know until you have evidence for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, so, if that helps with uh, what our position is. So what's your position? Well, really, let, I mean, you can also comment on what we've just told you, but I wanted to clarify that we also, oh, sorry. unfortunately, we are not, neither of us is the Pope of atheism, which is a position that doesn't exist, unfortunately. But, so we can't speak for all atheists. Um, Although, to be clear, as far as I'm aware, in the atheist community, I have the most fabulous hat, so does that make me the Pope of Atheism? You decide. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Hakeem, I'm, I'm, I'm telling jokes and the live audience loves it. I'm derailing the conversation oh, and completely. Eric is glaring oh, at me. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we don't, we don't, uh, oh, anytime. No, uh, we, we can't speak for all atheists, but that's certainly our position. Positions. Okay. What do you think? Well... Um, um, I would have to take it that your answer was, uh, you didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm like slow, if I'm like lagging to respond to you because I'm like looking at you on the tube, but it's like behind oh, me. Oh, yeah. So I, you like, you, you understand? So oh, you yeah. stop, I don't know it if for like a couple of seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh, so you're I'm fine. I'm not going to even look at the screen. I'm just yeah. going to talk to you and that, yeah. that'd that be helps. better. <laughs> so... Um, did you get the question, or you want me to ask it again? Yes, yes, I understand. Your, okay. your, 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 yes, I had to. Okay. Answer, you gave me your answer to mm -hmm. my question. Mm -hmm. Now, to answer your question of my evidence, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. My evidence. I first would start off at the fact that the universe exists. That's the first evidence. What's that evidence of? Well, that it exists. Okay. That it came into existence, and there are things that are far beyond us. Like, like what? Said. Well, I to be clear, I, I, I said like the, stars, like the sun, like the moon. Oh, like things that are far like, away. When you, yeah, yes. when when you say beyond, beyond us, us, beyond yeah. us, yeah, yeah. Hakeem, far we have people us. that call in okay. that say this is beyond you because it's magical. Far so, away from us. That's yeah. good. Far away from us in distance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there are many. Excuse me. Let me let me let me change my tone to you. Oh, you're, you're it's good. It's all good, man. You're good, you're good. You're yeah, good. it gets your blood up. It's, yeah. it's all right. We're fine. Yeah. Plus, there's a lot of semantics that we get caught up in because people... Try and trap try us in them, and it, it just drives us bonkers. And so we just yeah. want to be like, no, please yeah. don't go down so that rabbit So if we come all. across a little hostile, you know, I'll yeah. apologize in advance. No, no point attended. Yes. All right. There are, many, there are many things that exist in the universe that if we look at it logically from a whatever perspective you want to take in this, okay? From the distance of the moon, the distance of the sun, the distance of stars, mm -hmm. dark constellations, black holes, nebular cluster, all of these different gases and different actions that exist. Humongous obstacles of matter, all this exists. And we know that scientifically. We trust the science in that. And we can also look up at the stars correct so that is clear evidence now logically when you study individual things that exist in the universe logically a human being cannot determine using his logic that these things can cooperate and they do stay in their own orbit and they do while traveling, and they do. What do you mean we can't? In perfect precision, wait a minute, in but... perfect precision, without it being chaotic and, I mean, uh, a whole host of things. Who said it's not chaotic? It cannot, it's, it's, there's no way that can possibly sustain the way that the universe does, where all is cosmic energy and so forth and so on, without is being designed to follow its own principles. 
What a so, leap, man. How did the heck did you yeah, get there? And why would you infer that something has to be designed? Have you looked at the crazy shit that happens? You have nebula crashing into each other. You have planets getting yeah. rammed by, by, uh, by comets. You have extinction level events. You have entire, our universe, yeah. right? Our, our, our local galaxy, right, was not there at the beginning. It actually came at the end of others, right? A lot of the, the yeah. major elements you know, especially the, the heavier, heavier ones, elements, yeah. you know, on the periodic table only come from the explosion of stars. Where the to, hell do you get the idea that there's well, not chaos or that, yeah. that there's all of a sudden some synchronicity yeah. just because we can identify that there are rules that things go by yeah. and we only the come up with those doesn't rules exist on a grid. because we're trying to explain it. Um, but I don't, I, number one, I don't yeah. believe the thing you said and number two, I don't... Um, I don't subscribe to the idea that something has to be created or designed at all. Like, you have to show me that. Because just saying yeah. there's no way other than that, like, you've done nothing to help yourself because everything yeah. you set up nope. until that nope. point oh. is just like everything exists. We clearly, we clearly, we clearly just, you know, that's, that's, that's great. That's great. We clearly have two definitions of what's going on in the galaxy. All right. First That's of all, like... I asked you a question. If you want to let me finish. Of First course. of all, I asked you a question. I asked you a question, did you know how it came into existence? Mm -hmm. When I gave my analogy on it, then you go and tell me how you think it came into existence. You said the stars went boom, the galaxies came in and swooned. I mean, come on now, did, really, did either you know or you don't know. Uh, Hakeem, real quick, um, so what, what Eric was referring to was the creation of the Milky Way galaxy, which is not, like there's... And our local solar system yeah, there's, our there's, sun. Yeah, there's, I think, billions that of... It's part of the universe. It's part of the so universe. You're going to tell me how the Milky Way galaxy came about, but... I, can, I mean... That's where it stopped. You I, said galaxy. You didn't say one galaxy, you said galaxy. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, then, the then, then the let galaxies. me... That's, that's what you said, we were the last of them. Then, then let me let me clarify because well, I must have miscommunicated that. We're the last galaxy. Right? No. No. What? No. no, no if no, I no, say, no. if it, I if I communicated that, I deeply apologize and let me clarify. He was talking. Up I'm saying until that this it wasn't the time. first. Yeah. Right. Our solar system was not the first solar system, and we can tell that because the elements that we have have to be created when other solar systems go kaplooey. It doesn't mean that I know how everything began. Mm. It just knows that, I, it's just a statement that that is what we know about our solar system. I thought you were asking me about the beginning of the universe, not the beginning of our solar system. All right, so, so you did say that it was chaotic, correct? It depends on what you mean by chaotic. Well, actually, sorry, you were asking, you were asking Eric. Yeah, the description I, was like if you took some candy of, of pop rocks and put it in your mouth. That's how you just described it. I mean, on a I mean, cosmic level, I, that's exactly that's, how you just described it to us. I, as chaotic. Okay, so depending on how you define chaotic, okay. so actually, you said I, it was no design. You clearly said it was no intelligent design because yeah, that's chaotic. Up no, there. I that's did. What, that's how you explained it to me. Time because, I'm coming to my conclusion is what you said. Wait, when what? I'm showing you, it's not chaotic because you're here and I'm here. We're talking to each other. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. not dead. We ain't blown up. We ain't blown up nowhere. We're here. Okay. Freeze and protected the whole nine. But you're t still telling me there's no intelligent design yes. to this chaotic universe. Yes. That's exactly what I'm telling you. Thinking. Yes. Because do you need a rational thinking actor to create chaos or do you need a rational thinking actor to, you know, you're talking about intelligent design. You don't need a rational yeah, thinking creating it's, actor it's either, it's for things not to make I sense, right? It, or it's the way you just described it. No, it can be the way I describe it, you describe it, or literally anybody else describes it and everybody could be wrong and it could be something else. The fact is, is the Wait, truth is out okay, there. That's fine, that's fine. No, 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 no. hold on, let me finish. Hakeem, let me finish. Hakeem, let me finish. Hakeem, I came, hold on. Let me finish. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Which it one? doesn't matter whether or not it doesn't hold matter on. whether or not you uh, have the right answer or I have the right answer, as long as we're looking for think? truth. Right? right? Because if we're looking for truth, right. that's where we're gonna go. If we're looking to validate our assumptions, then we're not doing the right thing, are we? Right? Okay. Shouldn't the right question right. shouldn't the right question be why are, are things this way? Correct. You are absolutely correct. Oh if you I well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> we are getting some good callers. At though. night, if you observe the stars, if you observe space at night by your own vision, mm -hmm. do you see anything chaotic going on? I'm just saying. 
like you popping pop rocks in your mouth. Just explain that to me. Wait, so, oh. I, to clarify, if the if the universe were chaotic, I would expect mm -hmm. to walk out and look in the night sky and see stars. See fireworks. Right. So that doesn't sound yeah, like chaos at all. Like at all. I mean, I I do on Fourth of July, but I don't think that's what you meant. Um, yeah. <laughs> so to be clear, <laughs> stars are <laughs> exploding and forming all of the time, and when we point. My, uh, I almost said microscopes, telescopes at the sky, we see right. stars explode and form right. and collide into each other. So if stars exploding is what you mean by chaos and fireworks, then yes, when we look into the night sky, that's what we see. Yeah, uh, the, the chaos portion of it is what we're trying to make sense of. And the more that we learn and the more we study and explore, the more we can work on creating models of understanding right. the, of, of the universe out there. Um, but it's not because everything is perfectly ordered. It's because we're trying to create yeah. order to describe what we're seeing and learn about it. It's not the other way around. Okay. Well, the star Polaris doesn't go anywhere from you, the North Star. The constellations, Big Dipper, Little Dipper, they don't explode from you. They continuously show you the design your whole life. You would be gone, and the people after you would still be seeing these same star constellations not exploding. Hakeem, do, if something is... You'll be able to go by the if, Zodiac... If something's chaotic, does that mean exploding to you? To you? you cut me off. Yeah, because cha hey, chaos and exploding are not necessarily the same thing, dude. Like, what is, what but is, also, what do you get from an explosion? Because you're, every you example you're giving is that the stars are not exploding and, all and, at and, once, and, and, and all of the time, like pop rocks in your mouth, that's right? From, that's from falling stars exploding is how they come to the atmosphere and, and, and disappear from exploding stars, sir. What are you are, talking about? Wait. You can see this visually. Sorry, no, you lost me completely. You don't, the exploding stars don't just stay in the sky. They... <laughs> They don't Wait, no, hold on, fall. no, no. Yeah, Hakeem, you, you, you completely lost me. I need when to you take say, us back because I got clear, nothing. To clarify, did you, did you fall you, I think so. Okay. When you say a star, when you're saying it doesn't stay in the sky, you mean we don't continue to see it? Or do you mean it falls out of the sky exactly. to the you Earth's surface? You don't continue to see it. You, star constellations, so you're telling me our star constellations explode on a, on a rapid basis. That's what you're telling me. No. Because no. no. what we haven't discussed yet is over what period of time. Right? If I set oh. off fireworks, they explode relatively quickly. Stars take billions of years. So time can age and create. Sorry, can you clarify that? I'm not sure I, I heard asked, it I asked, clearly. Yes, sir. I asked, does, I said, so time can, can, can age and create. Uh, you, time, no. is, time is something that we observe. I don't know that but time... I hear atheists I, say that all the time. They say that who? these things develop... Why? The Send them, and you're talking to us. Yeah. Tell them to, to call the show and let me yeah, tell them that they don't Yeah, or just talk to those sense. atheists yeah. about it. But if you're going to talk about what other people believe, then we <laughs> have no reason to be talking to you, dude. Talk well, to us. I use, I use that in reference because I've seen both of you on that atheist show called The Atheist Experience. Mm -hmm. That's why I say hey. that. And I, I, I've listened to Tracy plenty of times. I've listened mm -hmm. to Matt, Russell. I've listened to and they John. Always say that and they don't, hold on. These things happen over a period of time and time, a long period of time. They always say that about yeah. how things develop, that we can't observe it now, that it happens over periods of time. Mm -hmm. well, we, you understand? They always use that analogy. Okay. Well, they, it happens over a period of time so we yes. can observe it. Well, we... Uh, we observe those periods yeah. of time, but but yes. So so. It, it, but when it, sorry, the the, no, the clarification not, we had was that you said so. Time is doing these things. Yeah, it, it almost like is, you were anthropomorphizing so time. Like, like time was like a thinking person. It takes time, but okay. Then why use it? I don't understand that. Well, no, no, no. We, we were don't just know what's going on in that period that that is taking so long of time. Then why don't you say what it is? Then other than long periods of time. Of, okay. And tell us exactly what's going on in that period. Yeah, because, yeah, because we, you should take a, a class if you want to know more about it. Right? Well, we're, we're not, not, we're not archaeologists, yeah. right? No, they're observable. Go to talkorigins.org, and you can, you can look up that evidence. If you want to know yeah. more, go to a college, man. We're just some dudes. Some, Do you, you really you want us to sit down and school you and actually have hours and hours where you sit down, we'll get you a textbook, what? we'll write down, we'll go over how we know about these things. I'll get an expert in because I'm not that guy to be teaching you that. Right? Do you want to do that? I understand. We, we, did, we don't need to get on, on that. We was talking about the universe. Yeah, we don't need to get on it because that's a ridiculous claim you just made. 
No, that's the claim you're all making. Time. You just say time. You don't say what's so, in between. To be to be clear, say, it no, takes no, a long period the, of time. The, okay. all you'd say. the example that you brought up was Tracy no, and say. Matt talking that's about all. evolution over a period of time. So no, I don't want to get on that. We was talking I don't. About I also don't, don't want to talk about evolution. But so that's all so, over the topic. Yeah, yeah. So physics. We were talking about the, chaotic universe and non-chaotic. You know, we was discussing that. That's what I had called for originally. I don't. I don't. Okay. Uh, y well, yes. So. Is, Let's let's yes, take up the a sort weird of weird rabbit trail we went on, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Jamie. Sorry. We took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, but um, yeah. To get specifically on the formation and of stars, uh, you just got that. Uh, sorry. Um, to the formation of stars, it takes a long period of time, right? But the force that's drawing, you know, hydrogen together, that's forming a star, that's forming new, you know, effectively. A, a, a large mass that becomes a nuclear fusion. Yes, man fusion. calculates the process, but we, someone yeah. has to put so, that process in place. No, yeah. it doesn't. No, no, no. no. Hold, before, before, before we get there, before we get there, before we get there. Energy comes from nothing? No, that's not what he said. It's, that's also not what I'm saying. But before we get there, that happens over a long no, period of doesn't. time. A football game also happens a lo over a long period of time. So if I said, well, oh, in three hours, we'll know who will have won this football game, you wouldn't say, yeah, oh, football game time. Millions and millions and millions and millions, millions, millions of years it takes to watch it. Yeah, and I know. Stick with me here, though, because what I'm... Hakeem, frame of time. Hakeem, yeah, Hakeem, you need to let Jamie talk. Stick with me here, because the... the, 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 the Go ahead, I put it yeah, on hold. Sorry, Hakeem, hopefully you can still hear me. The, the question I'm responding to is when you said, why are you saying that time is doing things? And I'm trying to, to clarify because I think there's been a miscommunication. So I don't think that you and I know that I certainly wouldn't say, oh, time is going to win this football game. You would just say that over the course of time, a football game would be played. And you would say, oh, it's being played by the, you know, Green Bay Packers and whomever, right? And so if you said, players. yeah, or you said over the, <laughs> you said over the course of a football season, these things are going to happen. And like, oh, over the course of a, the, uh, you know, the years have been really hard on whatever football team and they haven't been doing very well. You wouldn't say time has been hard on them. You would just say the things that have happened in that period of time. You want me to unmute them? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. If that makes sense. Sorry, I got, I got caught up trying to solve that miscommunication. That no Does that? That made no sense. But okay, well, what I was saying in regards to the universe is this, okay, is that. You know and I know that we use our time and we, 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 we calculate our time. We have our months. We have our days, our weeks, our years. Mm -hmm. And we use the things in the universe to calculate these things that we use on a daily basis. Lunar time, solar time. Do you understand that? You're telling me that from something out of nowhere no. came to where we can make these calculations that's conducive to our daily li living. No, life. no. And I'll tell you exactly where you're wrong here. Okay, Hakeem? Okay, good, so, good, go ahead. So in logic, you have a premise, right? You have A. And so the negation of that premise is not A. It's not something else, right? So let's say, um, we, we keep using the gumball analogy. Let's, let's use something else. Um, uh, you, you, well, let, let, let's say you're saying that. Um, we can let, use let's the go. gumball analogy. Let's go use the gumball analogy. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's fine. So let's. Um, geez, I use this all the time. Uh, Hakeem, you there? I'm here. Okay, you and I we're hanging out. We go into a room. We see Jamie. He's got a big jar of gumballs, and we've never seen the jar of gumballs. And he says, "You, I want you to to tell me whether or not the the number of gumballs in the jar is even or odd." Okay? You and I both have never seen this before. And I look and I say, there is an even number of gumballs in that jar. For a fact. I know there's an even number of gumballs in that jar. What are you going to say? Do you believe that there's an even number? Yeah. Do you believe me? I mean, that's, that's, that's all guesswork. It has no, nothing to do with... No, with and, just, just, just follow me, Hakeem. And just follow me here. Hakeem, and just follow me with this, please. Gumballs, I, I'm confused. I don't I know, know. I know. Because we're trying to demonstrate. It's not all going to be in one sentence. Follow okay, me through this. Over with the gumballs. Sure. We walk into a room. Jamie's got a jar, gar, jar of gumballs. He says, tell me if the number of gumballs in the jar is even or odd. I say, it's even. I know it for a fact. Do you believe me? Gotcha. 
do I, would I believe if you're correct on that? Yeah, do, are, yeah. are you going to be like, like oh, would, would yes, that Eric be enough is... to convince you, oh, Eric definitely knows that, that, it's an even number. that it's an even number? You were with me the whole time. You know I've never seen this jar. Yeah. I mean, but this is guesswork calculation. It, it, so would it be okay for Not you to science. say, Eric, I believe we you? Use, we use science. Hakeem, just we answer me, damn it. We use observable science. I, I wouldn't know. That's why I'm no, saying it's guesswork. Exactly. Know exactly. Or not. Perfect. So, so you say, you say, I don't know. That is, you, 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 you pass right through it. Yes, you got it. You can say, Eric, right. Eric. I'm not I'm going to accept. With that. I'm. It's. But if I, I trust the wait, Hakeem. Hold on. Then what do you want hold, me to do? Whoa, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Hold so on. Hold on. Hold on. It's just a point, hypothetical. Yeah. The point yeah. that I'm trying to make is you're not saying, Eric. You know, I don't believe you. It's an odd number of gumballs. All you're saying is, I don't know. We need to count the gumballs, right? The the Eric, I don't believe you, does not mean that you are asserting another claim yeah. on your own. Me, you saying, Eric, I don't believe you, that it's an even number of gumballs, you're not saying, I know for a fact, it's odd. Maybe. You're saying it could be, I don't know. The correct answer is neither. The correct answer is, I don't know you, and you withhold until you have sufficient evidence to be able to put that forward. Yeah. Right? Okay. You don't believe something until you have and a good so, reason to And so it. the reason that we're coming up with this, the reason I'm giving you this example, is because you're saying if you don't believe that it was created by a thinking God, right, if you don't think it was intelligently designed, do you think it all came from nothing? Hakeem, I never told you what I think. All I'm saying well, is I don't believe you. I never accused you of saying anything came from nothing. Yeah, go, well, okay, no, go back into the video after yeah. this, watch it. And then well, that's yeah. fine, but you know we can move forward still. Because what you were—I didn't say you believe that. Yeah, you well, did, H Hakeem. Really quick, what you were saying is no. Look, you need this. You heard uh, it probably as a question, <laughs> but not, not not as a definite that that's your belief. H Hakeem, real quick, what you were saying, what it sounded like, you were saying, and what what I heard and what I think Eric heard as well is that you were saying. No, look, the universe is ordered, and it had to be ordered by a thing. And what Eric was saying is, I don't see the order there. I don't believe that that's true, and I don't know why you would say that it needs to be a thing. That's him saying, I don't think, I don't believe you that the gumballs are even. Um, I don't know how you came to that conclusion. And then one of the things I think I totally understand his position. And I'm sure you all totally understand my position. This is what I am saying, though. Hmm. The science that we have up the wazoo in our lives, young uh, uh, gentlemen, we're not, you all are not utilize that we're to see gentlemen. whether or not it's a design to it or not. You're ignoring the science. I don't understand that. To be clear. This is my problem. Who's I, it, what, what, what science, what science are, are you referring to specifically? Yeah. That, that what is designed. Like this, I know that this coffee mug is designed and I know that you agree I'm, with that. I know that garish hat okay, was me, designed. Let me get to the nitty gritty of what I'm, what I'm observing okay. here, mm. okay? I asked, I, I said that with a logical mind, is it possible for us to be able to, the universe to be in cooperation? What is the odds of that? To our everyday we, living. We don't have a way of calculating the odds. of time because of lunar and solar. And how can you refute that when the science helped us to get that? Okay, so... So, so time we, exists we and we measure it. A week, seven days in a week. 30, yeah. you, you understand? It's because of the movement of... Listen, we on, we on a big old Earth. Yeah. Where it's so big that man no, we, can't even grasp in his head that, that how big he's it is. on yeah. a, a moving object and it's not flat. Yeah, it's going so past people's minds that they believe in that the Earth is flat. Yeah, and oh, we are, the, we and are those right there with you. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I love talking to those people. They They're so silly. That we're spinning. Yeah, you can't tell that, and I can't tell that. But they say that there's no phenomenon. That's one. Of, when it's, I don't care how big it is, how small we are, how fast. That's nevertheless, it's, it's it happens. It's happening without your knowledge. Mm -hmm. in, in being able to witness it, that we are spinning. Well, uh, well Di directly. I mean, yeah. Like we, you, you when you when I get yeah, up out of bed, I don't go, "Wow, that's the that's Earth's spinning." To you, I don't know what is. Early astronomers figured it out, though, so obviously yeah. it was detectable. Men calculate. Right? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. They tell me what put these things in motion. The Earth is a certain distance from the sun. What is the odds of that? 
And this is where you and I live, sir. So the odds real, of it are one in one. Yeah, we. I, I we, don't. I don't. So, Hakeem, really quick, oh, when so when the you, water just came out of space and landed on Earth and gave us the right amount of a wa- amount of water too, Hik- I, I guess you believe that too, right? Hakeem, Hakeem. Million million gallons of water. Hakeem. Million million tons. No, Hakeem. Million million Hakeem. tons of water Hakeem. on this planet. And Hakeem. Hakeem. No, no Hakeem. Water real quick, Hakeem. So if I Get roll alert. a six-sided die, the odds. Other planets ain't got the water. I'm putting yeah. you on hold, dude. You gotta let us talk. Yeah. You gotta let us talk, or else we're not gonna have this conversation. All right? Putting you back up. Can you hear us? You to talk to. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There also, there's a phone delay, so I think it's it's it may be All making right. their. I understand. Yeah. Sorry for being so long. Oh no. You're, I mean, you're fine. I I talk over people every week all the time, <laughs> without the phone <laughs> delay. Um, so without the excuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if I roll a, a dice, right? Um, the odds that it is going to come up like a one, right? Like it's a six-sided die like you'd get at a casino or whatever. The odds that it's going to come up one are one in six, right? And we know that because if we take that die and we roll it a thousand times, one-sixth of those times, if it's perfectly random, it'll come up one or near about, right? And that's what we mean by what are the odds of that, right? So if I take a two die, Right, and I roll them. The odds that it comes up snake eyes are, you know, few and far between. On my on on one roll, it's one in thirty six, right? So if I roll, or here, I'll, I'll stick with one dice. And now that I've switched back and forth, this is confusing. So the odds if that I roll a die and it comes up one, are one in six, right? But if I roll that die twice, the odds that it comes up one and then two are one in 36, right? Just that's how we calculate probabilities. Are you with me so far? I'm not doing this very well, but hopefully I haven't lost you by rambling. Hakeem? Are you there? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Um, we wouldn't know what the odds were if we couldn't roll the die more than one time, right? Because if I find a six-sided die that I've never rolled before, and I roll it, and it comes up one, I might go, oh, well, it's a perfectly random die. Or maybe the next time I pick it up and I roll it, it's one. It comes up one. And I pick it up and I roll it again, and it comes up one. And it's because it's a loaded die, right? It's weighted. It's rigged to only come up one. But I wouldn't know that unless I could roll it more than once, unless I could roll it again and again. So when you're asking, what are the odds that the Earth is this far from the sun, you're talking about one dice roll. Right? We have one Earth, one Sun, one galaxy, and one universe, so we don't have a second time to compare it to. So when you ask, what are the odds of that, the answer is, I don't know, and I don't know how anyone could know. And then, and then to build on that, I actually really like that. Did you ever play Yahtzee, Hakeem? Yes. So do you know what the odds are of getting Yahtzee? Getting, let's say that again. Of getting, of rolling Yahtzee? Okay, I know Yahtzee. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, really, really. So, so for you to for you to roll all of all of those numbers together in one go, it's one in one thousand two hundred and ninety six, right? So if we're playing Yahtzee and I actually do it, are you going to be like, "You're a cheater"? The odds are so high; it's never going to happen. Well, maybe. Well, eventually it will, right? Yeah. So let's take one in a million, right? If something's one in a million, that means it rarely happens. Well, that's not true, because how many people do we have on the Earth? Jamie, how many people are out there right now? More than now? 700 billion. More so, than 700 billion. That means that you have 7,000 one in a million chances happening all the time for any given situation. Well, yeah. 70,000? Am, am I missing a zero? I don't... I, I don't know. Yeah. But either but way... To, it happens all the time. And so for you to say, oh, it's so impossible for a thing to happen, number like, one, big numbers is not a reason to not believe a yeah. thing. Number two, um, what Jamie said. Well, is, we, don't, we don't know what the yeah. odds are. And also, we have a really, 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 really large universe uh, and a really, 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 really large galaxy. And there are a lot. There are the number of galaxies is also really, really, really large. And so, who, and who knows how many times this might have already happened at different distances, or if there are di- life forms that are comprised of different, or if it you know, could, makeups, or, or, if, or if it, it can could. happen any other way. Right? Yeah, like the sorry, at this point, we're just listing things we don't know. But okay, but there is one that I actually do want to give, and that okay. is: um, Have you ever read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Yeah. 
Hakeem? Yes. You, well, you have? Well, here, let's, yeah. let's let him okay, respond so to what Hitchhiker's we've said got, so far. In okay. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, he talks about a puddle, a sentient puddle. And that puddle is so happy because it was made. The hole was absolutely made for it. And the mm-hmm. size was exactly right for the water around it. And then the sun came out, and as the puddle shrank, it went, you know what, this is absolutely perfect. Every instance that I'm in, this hole can, is perfectly made for me, right? You, was that puddle correct? Yeah. I mean, all you're doing is... I understand. I understand. Y- 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 yeah, I understand what you're saying. I totally understand yeah. what you all are saying. Yeah. Okay. I totally get that. I, I put things like you do, like you're doing, in every perspective known. That's where we come in at as men. Every human being born is a scientist. We explore all the way to the food we taste and test. Understand that, okay? We observe. Did you I say this, man? Understand it. Listen, this is what I understand your analogy. All okay. right. But this is this is where this is where you have a this is where you run into a problem with this at. Hmm. Okay? Because okay, I'm explaining it. The science oh. shows in school, science in school. Okay. Not my science. Science in school is what I've been talking about. Okay. Shows that all these things in the universe are put in, in precise mathematics, all the way to the point where man has he calculates. Understand what man does? He calculates. Okay. Yep. We've come up with the perfect mathematical equation, which is B smash A, which equals one point six one eight. Okay. This number is used in various aspects. Understand this in the universe. It is the think, fifth superior the number in mathematics. With this number, let me just finish. It's not going to take no more than a minute. Oh, no, I was just, I was just number, looking. I, I thought that was the golden the ratio. Pulse. Okay, yeah. Same number, there's no design. With that same number, that's the heart pulse, that's the DNA spiral, that, that numerous of galaxies is based on this number, okay? Mm-hmm. This number is even applied when the Egyptians built the pyramids that's connected to the star constellations. Understand that. Also, it's even what our human body is, 1.618, the perfect gear ratio. That's the human body now, fellas. Also, it's the world's golden ratio point, our me point, okay? In the middle of the South Pole and North Pole, you got to understand, this is what is called the magnetic equilibrium zone. This is true science, learn it in school. You told me to go to school, you'll go to school. Look, not to move, listen, if you place a compass here, what? it will not move because the, the, the gravitational pull is equal from both sides, fellas. You understand that? The, yeah, the, <laughs> the force of gravity <laughs> is opposed <laughs> equally <laughs> by the normal force. Yeah. Yes. I, and, yeah. And yes, sir. How do you get the golden ratio? These are mathematical scientific discoveries. Mathematical scientist. No, yeah. I'm, I, I'm not telling you the golden yeah. rule, the golden ratio doesn't exist. I'm asking you if you know how it exists, like what it is. Yeah. Why you get there? Okay. Why is phi that? Why is phi equal now, to one point six one eight? Everything that I have studied in science is conducive in what the God I believe in, the unseen God, shows us in His book. Bullshit. Okay, one. Bullshit. No, no, you are lying. No, Hakeem, I'm not going to let you get away with that. You can say a whole bunch of really crazy shit, but to tell me that your Bible is scientifically correct, you know what? You actually added a whole bunch of bogus crap onto existing things. You said, there, you know, it, it, that's all post hoc. What yeah. you're saying is, we can define it, therefore it must have been created. That is not it. Yeah. That is not the case. It is, we are trying to define it, and therefore, once we define it, your God exists. No! I can say these things okay, exist, but that doesn't mean that, shut up, dude, your God does not exist because you are getting to, oh my gosh, we can finally define a thing, right? All right, look, listen. You're, okay. you're on hold. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're, you're on hold. Okay, listen to me really closely. Just because you get to say science exists does not mean you get to say that your 2,000 year old book, over 2,000 if you're counting the Old Testament, written by Bronze Age goat herders is scientifically correct. 
That is not a true, and that is not how you get to truth. And you can't say you're reaching that by a scientific means. That is bullshit. And we'll sit here and we'll argue, we can talk about how you get to conclusions, but if you're gonna pull that out of your ass, I'm done talking to you. So I'm gonna take you off of hold, but if you do say that, I'm done. Uh, what, what it is. Hey, Kim, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey. Okay, so you're back. I don't need a book to clarify what it is. I'm gonna let you have to deal with that these things is possible by like rolling a dice or throwing some bubble gums on the floor. <laughs> by these, okay. By this mathematics. Some bubble gums on the floor. That is exactly you what said, we said. You said bubble gum, balls, bubble bu bu yeah, gum, yeah. drops, whatever you said. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking I about. All over the floor. None of these things are math has a mathematic precision to them. They, they, it's so work. no, the the it's measure mathematic precision. Our ability to measure it is precise, right? My height. Oh, you want to try that one? No, oh, no. How dare you? I know you're not going to try that one. Really? I. You just you... gave me. You just gave me your mathematics of calculations of gumballs and, and dice and the odds of that. Yes. And I'm giving you precise mathematics. You're giving me guesswork mathematics. We're not. No. We're giving you examples to try okay. and help you. Okay. I, okay. I think, I think have, there's, I think there's like been, I, I, very quickly, uh, to, to clarify, I think there's been a miscommunication when you were talking about, oh, you're going to give me that one. Because when you said, oh, it's uh, a level of precision, and I'm saying, right, a thing happens, and we measure how it happens using numbers very precisely, using numbers with a lot of de decimal points, going past it. That's our ability to measure a thing that happens. But if you don't use number precisely, we won't be able to count our money, would we? Uh, all right. Exactly. Yeah. No, no, okay. no, 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 we're, we're, no, so Azim, exactly, no exactly. But the amount of money I have on a table, if I miscount it, does that change the number of dollars I have on a table? No, it just means that you're wrong about your money. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And as we get better at measuring this hypothetical money on a table, oh, we discover that we can measure uh, not just dollars, but quarters. Oh, we discover we can measure not just quarters, but dimes. Oh, we discover we can measure not just dimes, but pennies. And then someone would say, oh, where the money is on a table, because we can measure pennies, it must have been placed exactly there. But if someone is holding a giant tip jar and they pour it out on the table and you just get better and better at measuring how much it's there, it doesn't mean the place on the table where it fell was designed to be there. What school taught you mathematics? Obviously not yours. Uh, Hakeem, uh, we actually are gonna keep you on, but we have somebody else who wants to talk to you. Katie in Lincoln, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Hey, Katie, help us, please. <laughs> okay, so as far as whether or not you... Oh. Oh. That was my phone beeped in. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Son of I a think... bitch. No, no, no. You sorry, dropped sorry. her. No, no, no. Hakeem, not you. Sorry. The, the call with Katie <laughs> dropped. You're fine. That's oh. that's Eric oh. swearing at the phone system, not yeah, you. No, just to no, be clear. Sorry. sorry. This is me. We, our call got heated, but you seem... Like a yeah. fine. We gentleman. actually gave you our entire episode, so we're gonna go well, on. Not, and, no, uh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean to take up y'all time. No, 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 this was really fun. No, I want to continue this. I don't know why you were complaining. I like it. We don't I, have to. We got. We got a little bit of hate. Oh, all right. I don't know what those noises just were, but um, <laughs> Eric is making a sad face. Um, Hakeem, uh, I know that this call has been long. I've certainly enjoyed it. Are you interested? In, I don't want to end it just yet. But before we go on, are you able to call back again next week? Yes. What? Uh, next Sunday, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. next Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. No problem. All right. Cool. No problem at all. All right. And Take then I, we also have Katie back on line five. So we're actually. I, I'm going to keep you on, Hakeem, but we do want to listen to what Katie has okay. to say. Okay. Make sure you lock him. All right. In I got you. He's not. Yeah. I Katie, you. are you there? I yes. talk to you guys. Yay! All right. Oh. Hopefully, I'm here to stay this time. Hopefully. Okay, okay we only have a couple minutes. Hi, Help Katie, out here. Hakeem, Hakeem, Katie. Mm -hmm. You're both voices. Hello. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Mm -hmm. So, we have seen stars exploding in the past. In the Song Dynasty, Chinese astronomers noticed that there was a new star in the sky, and it was extremely bright, like bright enough that you could see it while the sun was out, like during sunrise and sunset. Later on, when we had far more advanced telescopes, we were able to observe the Crab Nebula. 
scientists in the 1800s were able to then say it's like oh yeah no the crab nebula that was created by this supernova that humans observed in 1049 i mean we we've seen stars exploding in the past it it happens <laughs> Just because we don't happen to look outside and see a star exploding at any given time doesn't mean that they're not exploding farther away than we're able to observe. Like Betelgeuse is something like 640 light years away. And we know that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. It could have already gone supernova and we just won't see it until next week because of the distances involved. So we can see stars exploding all the time. We just have to know where to look and you know, get lucky because an explosion happens and then it's done. <laughs> Right, right. Does that make sense, Hakeem? Yeah. But yes, but the reason why we're seeing so many things that when we first got into the discussion as seeming like chaotic, these things exist in space. All of these actions take place. You got to under, also understand the science explains to us, modern science, that the universe is expanding. Yes. So it's active. Everything in the universe is in motion. Nothing stationary. It's in yeah. motion, okay. including that sun. So, so if you have these gases and all of this nebula and, and smokeless clouds and all of this different types of things, gravity and mag, uh, magnet, uh, magnetic forces and dark energy and energy, if you have all of these things going on in the universe, you got to understand that you're going to get these type of reactions. But nevertheless, so, okay, madness, man, we how do. They work? not harmful to us. It's not harmful to us. That's well, the key. To be clear, key, fellas. to be clear, if we're we here. were affected by a supernova, so for example, if the sun at the center of our solar system exploded, that would be very harmful for human life on Earth. I understand, but that yeah. if, 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 and boom, but about no, 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 it's it's when. I mean, it's it, as far as I'm yeah, aware. We know that the sun is is eventually going to die, and it's going to expand into a red giant, and it won't be here. I won't be here. No, it won't. Go ahead, Katie. I put Hakeem yeah, we, on hold. We won't, yeah, we won't be here, but neither will the Earth because it's going to be consumed by the sun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's like, there. you know, talking Makes about, it's like, oh, there. yeah, I mean, the, the fire in my lighter isn't going to be harmful to something unless, you know, I touch the fire to the thing that now is on fire. I mean, the, mm. the sun isn't harmful to the Earth as long as, you know, it stays at its size and its mass and the Earth stays at its position and its mass and all of the orbital mechanics stay in position. I don't know nearly as much as like EJ does about this, but yeah. I at least have a, a grasp on some of the basics here. And for something to be, like you said, just with a solar flare that can destroy us can say what you said, stay put, son, for a duration. I don't it just decide whenever it wants to destroy us. Whenever that may be, we don't know. That's the boogeyman. We don't okay. know. Well, we, okay. we, we actually we have, have a good idea. I'm going to okay. enjoy yeah. that sun. Re just, just to be... Yeah, I mean, well, good, sun. but Hakeem, here's the thing. By observing the way that things happen with stars, by observing, oh, these things are happening, a star is going to form. Oh, these things are happening, a star is going to die. We can say with a level of certainty that the odds that our particular star at the center of our solar system explodes in the next five minutes are very low because we've looked at a lot of stars in our in the galaxy and in the universe so that's that's that one that we very jealous of all no we don't have time for this i'm sorry um well, I, okay sorry I, eric is eric is is keeping us on time yeah. um sorry to cut you off hakeem thank you for calling in katie um hakeem uh I, we mentioned before, um, we're, 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 we're at the end of our show. Um, we wish we could continue the call now, but are you yeah. willing to continue talking about this next yeah. week? Yes, or, or we can get into the, um, the evolution thing that y'all uh, mentioned. Uh, um, well, let, you're going to need to wanna, show that you can actually too. understand what well, the... the... Here, so Hakeem, actually, we're, our, our show ends yeah. at 2.30, and it's 2.30, but uh, we would love to get in to that with you. Can you do that okay. next week, Sunday, 1 p.m. Central? Gotcha.